A high-tech billionaire is giving a huge boost this morning to the so-called cancer moonshot. Napster co-founder Sean Parker is donating, donating $250 million to support immunotherapy research. His project will bring together some of the world's biggest cancer research centers. Vladimir Dutier of our digital network CBSN is here with Parker's big idea. Vlad, good morning. Good morning. Last June, Parker launched the Parker Foundation with a $600 million donation and the goal of creating large-scale systemic change across multiple fields. His donations have backed research from everything from cancers to allergies. I'm fundamentally very interested in the science of immunotherapy and that that's actually what gets me going. Tech mogul Sean Parker was on the front lines of innovation as the brains behind the original music sharing site Napster and the first president of Facebook. Today he announced he's throwing $250 million behind the growing field of immunotherapy to fight cancer. Immunotherapy uses the body's immune system to attack cancer cells. The Parker Institute for Cancer Immunotherapy will bring together six top academic cancer centers. They'll collaborate to get treatment to patients sooner. We find ourselves here tonight at the epicenter of a movement in cancer research that I think many of us believe actually has the best chance of eradicating cancer once and for all. Parker touched on the lack of teamwork among scientists while receiving an award from the Cancer Research Institute in 2013. The amount of collaboration and information sharing has been sadly very limited. With a new moonshot, America can cure cancer. Cancer research has been a major goal of the Obama administration since January's State of the Union address. President Obama tasked Vice President Joe Biden with leading the country's fight against the disease after his son Bo died from brain cancer. For the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. Parker's influx of funding comes on the heels of one of the most prominent success cases of immunotherapy. 91-year-old former President Jimmy Carter's cancer is now in remission. Parker's hope is to make that treatment that saved his life available to more cancer patients, Gail. That sounds like a really good hope. Thank you very much, Vlad.